Hello and welcome back to 7am English. Today we are going to discuss the past progressive tense. I hope you had the chance to watch yesterday's video about the future progressive tense, because if you did, today's video is going to be much simpler to you. You see, the reason why we are going back to discussing past tenses after starting future tenses is because past progressive and future progressive are almost identical. So they are easiest to learn if you learn them together, side by side. Just like the future progressive, the past progressive is used to show an interrupted action, but this time in the past. Look at the examples on screen for comparison between future progressive and past progressive. In both cases, we have a short action interrupting a longer one. And again, just like future progressive is used for actions happening at a specific time in the future, the past progressive is used for actions happening at a specific time in the past. Past progressive tense can also be used to show two past actions happening at the same time. Both for the past progressive and future progressive, when used in this sense, we still need to have the time reference somewhere in context. At this point, we will move on to the past progressive's special circumstances, the first of which is the difference between past progressive and past simple. If you look at the examples on screen, they might seem similar, but there is a huge difference we must mention. If we use the past simple, it would mean that the action we are talking about started at the moment we are talking about. But with the past progressive, the action had started before, and at the moment we are talking about, it's already in progress. Another special use, and I'd like you to remember this one because it's very, very common in everyday spoken English, is to talk about cancelled planned actions in the past. This action we are talking about was planned, but it did not happen for whatever reason. Maybe it was cancelled or prevented or it, it doesn't matter, but it was planned and it failed to happen. As for the passive form of past progressive, unlike other progressive forms, this passive form is actually used in real life. It's not extremely common, but we can use it when we want to give a background story about an event. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions about the past progressive tense, please leave them in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible. Have a very nice day and see you next time.